right? We got anything else to throw on this? Uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. With overflow? Yeah, it's, it's, explain that one, Skip. All right, so there's a, there's a couple of things that can, can represent what we're talking about. And, and we were taught the terms, and correct me if I, if I misremembered, but there's, there's overflow and then there's motor, motor dysregulation, right? There's, there's um, the, the, the difficulty with, I'll, I'll talk about overflow. So overflow simply is automatic physical or, or motoric actions that occur along with another motor action that aren't necessary for the completion of that action. So what are we talking about? We're talking about sticking your tongue out while you color. We're talking about Michael Jordan sticking his tongue out on just about every shot he ever took. He doesn't need that to do what he needs to do with that basketball, just like you don't need to do it to color. Where the breakdown is, is that somehow in your motor cortex, it's linking those motor actions together when they don't need to be for just efficiency. And again, ideally, it's all about efficiency as far as physiological functioning for conservation of resources and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, we do all these extra things like that kid that swings his arm uh, to turn his head. You don't need your arm flying up in the air to turn your head and you don't need your tongue to either shoot a basket or color, but they happen. And so when we see those things, literally when we see them in our office, it, it, it lets us know, hey, something's up with this guy's motor cortex and it's probably not chunking or setting things or, or allowing things to kind of work procedurally efficiently. And if we know that, then it lets us go down to all kinds of rabbit trails, right? We can talk about how that would impact math acuity, right? Because math is basically a procedural task. And while the brain does have areas that focus on math versus shooting a basket, for example, motor sequencing is motor sequencing. And so if there's a a difficulty with it, it's going to show up in math, just like it would show up in coloring with your tongue out. So that's overflow. 